Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily angelic message for, what? where are we at now? I think February 27th, 2024. You can treat these as timeless. Whenever you come across this, it was the right time for you to see it. Yes, okay, guys, I'm so happy for us. <laughs> the past, I would say, week of readings, daily readings especially, it's been good stuff. Okay, so go back and watch those two if you want. So we have the emperor here, the number four. Let's talk about the number four. When we talk about angelic numbers, the number four is often your guardian angel trying to get your attention. Now, there's a lot on that. I have a whole video that I posted a long time ago, okay? It's on it's on my channel. It's over there. It's uh, angelic signs, angel numbers. So you can go over there and see. And I, go, I think I go through other signs too. It's been a little while since I posted that, so I don't remember. But anyway, it's over there. I know there's angel numbers in there. So this is a day where your guardian angel is trying to get in touch with you. And with the emperor card, first and foremost, I think this is you trying to find that strength within you, that confidence, something kind of clicks, something gets solidified. You are now in position. You are in your seat. You know what I mean? You're in, like, I'm getting um, the image of somebody who's like in a fighter jet, like, They've trained, they've trained, they've trained. Now they're in the seat, strapped in, and ready to take off. Now, this could also be, in combination with a couple of days ago, there were two days this past week or so, um, where there have been twos, okay? The twos, and talking about partnership and someone trying to help you, this could be someone who's in an authority position, okay, or someone who's older than you, I guess typically we would say this would be a masculine energy, and I agree with that. But we all have divine feminine and masculine within us. So this could just be someone who's in authority, okay? An authority figure somehow in your life. Now we have Uriel here. Archangel Uriel resonates with the energy of Archangel Michael quite a bit. Both are usually associated with the solar plexus. Uriel, though, the little bit of a difference here is uh, Uriel's powerful, but it's being powerful from a place of wisdom. So this isn't a fool that gets put on an egotistical, arrogant fool who gets put on the, the I guess, throne. I don't know. Um, now, if we had other cards around it that kind of indicated that, like someone abusing their power or something, that would be a different story. But we're just pulling one card here. There's one poignant message here. And that is find your strength through your wisdom. And when you get into that place, when you get into maybe you're the authority of yourself, what, however that's working out for you. Again, I feel like with the past few days, partnership, I think someone may come and offer you something. That's definitely a possibility here. But this says uh, stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. You can't be the fool, okay? Don't bring arrogance into it. Don't bring ego into it. You know, aha, I'm in charge now. Now I get to boss everybody around. <laughs> like, no, that's not what we're talking about here. Now, if you want a personal reading with me, go to angelsouls444.com. That's how you get my typical standard readings. Here and there, I can sneak in a live reading on Zoom. That's not a permanent offering. That's why I don't book those through my website. Those, you email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. I also have a course that's live one-on-one, -on -one, connecting with your angels, I forgot to mention this before. I'm also teaching people how to read Oracle cards. Okay. So I do that and uh, angel mediumship. So if you're interested in that, you email me angelsouls44 at gmail.com. If you are going to do a live session with me, please be mindful of the time. I do have an alert that goes off that gives us five minutes, five minute warning. So if I'm saying, okay, well, we're going to wrap it up. Okay, let, let's do that. <laughs> let's just wrap it up. So yes, there's a reason why I'm saying that. And I want to say this too. If it shocks you that I'm on camera and I'm saying this out there, um, I would invite you to, um, you don't have to be, I don't even think that's blunt. I think it's honest. And I think the world needs more of that. And if you find it hard to be honest, like it's straightforward, but it's not unkind, right? Okay. We're not, we're not saying go out and be sassy with everybody or whatever, but just 
ask yourself today too, am I being honest? Am I standing up for myself? Am I setting boundaries that are much needed? If someone has a problem or something to say about you setting boundaries or want to put some sort of twist on you setting boundaries in your head, noted. That doesn't mean you have to kick that person out of your life, but don't don't let that go past you. All right? That's part of being the emperor, I think. Anyway, we will leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.